As we're in week 16 of the vaccine rollout, Austin Public Health says we're still not in the clear. We're not done with COVID yet. Uh, COVID is certainly not done with us yet. Monday, those 16 and older became eligible for the shot, but those in 1A, 1B and 1C still the main focus. APH adding those 80 and older should be first in line. We continue to encourage folks that appointments um, are always best, but we will prioritize this group. That's why they've established a mobile vaccine program, a way to vaccinate homebound seniors. Partnering with Meals on Wheels, they vaccinated more than 1,500 seniors. Of those, uh, about 1,400 of those have been first vaccines, and then 105 of those have been um, the second doses. Overall, in the senior population, APH says that for those 60 plus, they've administered 53,000 first doses and 30,000 second doses. According to um, uh, Texas Department of State Health Services, over 81,000 folks that are 65 years of age or older have received at least one vaccine. As of Monday, more than 30% of Travis County residents have received at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. APH Director Stephanie Hayden Howard says of those that are vaccinated, 46% are white, 29% Hispanic, 9% Asian, and 6% African American. Dr. Mark Escott says the vaccine seems to be working. As you can see, they've been flattening out a little bit, so some marginal decreases uh, day over day. Since the beginning of the month, there has been a decrease in hospitalizations, ventilator use, and ICU admissions. We're very pleased with that number. Again, we're not through with this yet. We've got a lot more work to do to keep those numbers low, um, but uh, certainly pleased with with how we're doing locally. However, with more vaccine becoming available and the city and county trending in the right direction, Escott says April will be a critical month. If we hunker down and, and continue to do those things and uh, not take too much risk, then May, June, July, summer looks much, much better.